Welcome back you guys. So today I have another Dollar Tree haul. So I hope you are ready to dive in and see all of the cool finds that Dollar Tree is offering. I do wanna mention that if you have not seen my walkthroughs, I post walkthroughs every week and I will share any new items that I come across. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit your notification bell. That way you are alerted anytime those videos come up. Now, this is one of the hauls that just I've accumulated things for the past few weeks, like I mentioned in my video, um, my previous Dollar Tree haul that, um, you know, we've had some family tragedies going on. And um, so I kind of put a hold on doing hauls, but now you're gonna be seeing all of the items that I have hauled from those Dollar Tree walkthroughs. So let's go ahead and start off with these really adorable caramel cob soft caramel popcorns. I went ahead and picked up two of these. I plan on having like a little Thanksgiving fall party um, for my homeschool. It's just my kids and myself but I thought that I could do something fun for that day. I did pick up a craft for fall and I was thinking we could just like watch a movie and do it then. But I think I'm gonna set up like some sort of fall party for us just to kind of have something to look forward to. And I just thought that these were adorable and they'd be really cute to include in that party. Um, but it says you could try it warm. It's by Kathy K, World's Best Caramel Cob. But they are literally, shaped into like a corn on the cob um shape super cute let me know if you guys have seen these before i have never seen them i should have bought myself one now that i'm thinking about it but i did not um the next thing i went ahead and picked up this is going to be for my little shelves back here behind me i'm in my family room currently so this is like my decoration for my family room as well as for all of you guys that tune in um this is the backdrop but i like to decorate it according to each holiday or season and so i saw this super cute little squirrel he is some sort of like plaster or ceramic of some sort but look how cute he is he has like this little acorn and then i also i couldn't pass by without grabbing this little fox he's absolutely adorable he has like a little mushroom in front of him but i just love these and i thought that they would go really well for fall like on one of the little cubbies so i went ahead and grabbed that i also needed some hand soap so i usually get this kind of hand soap the dial skin smart this is the coconut water and mango um, but they only had two and so i needed one more and they have this kind here this is the vanilla honey so i went ahead and grabbed these for my bathrooms um, and i don't do anything fancy i literally just stick this in the bathroom I don't like transfer it over into other bottles to make it aesthetically pleasing. I think that that looks so nice, but <laughs> I don't do that. So I just get those. Um, a little more decoration for the rooms. I went ahead and picked up these really adorable pumpkins. They do have like a crackle effect on this one here, and this one is more of like a glitter effect, but how cute are those? I love how they have the different style pumpkins. Um, and they did have different colors, but I went ahead and picked up the white and the green. I thought that those were really pretty. Something that I had hauled from Timu a while ago for my sister and my daughter and nieces and my mom's trip that they went on this summer. I hauled these little window and door alarms through Timu and now they offer them at the Dollar Tree. And these are actually cheaper through the Dollar Tree. Now, I don't know if these are like a Dollar Tree item. It is, it's Greenbrier. So they are battery operated. What you do is you stick one side on like your actual door and then the other little piece, like this piece would go on your door, the bigger piece, and this piece would go on your like door jam. And once it separates, it'll sound like a little alarm to let you know that somebody's opened a door or opened a window. You can use this as some sort of like alarm system for yourself if you don't have the money to actually like pay for one. Um, through a company, you can get this just to 
be alerted if someone opens your door. These are great to have if you don't have an alarm system and you have kids, especially like toddlers and stuff that know how to open doors, maybe out to a backyard if you have a sliding glass door or even French doors and you're worried that your kiddo is gonna get out and maybe you have a pool. You could even put this on like a pool gate. That would be a really good idea if you have like a gate that opens. Um, I don't know, maybe you can install this somehow to that gate. That way you are alerted if someone's opening up a door, a window, or a gate. So I went ahead and picked two of these up. I thought that these were really great to have. I do have an alarm system, but these would be really good to take on trips to put in your hotel room. That's what I was thinking, and you can get like a command strip to put on it, or um, I feel like these are a little heavier than the ones I purchased through Timu. And when I purchased the ones through Timu, I just got like that earthquake putty type stuff or poster putty. So I'm not sure. I, it did work for my sister, but I'm not sure if these are a little too heavy. So maybe like a con uh, command strip would be great to have for those. But great option for all of those things there. Something else I went ahead and grabbed. Now these were down the hair, um, the hair accessory aisle. And they're just little bobby pins with this cute little like fuzzy pom-poms they do have like the gold hardware on them i did not get these to use in my hair i actually got them to use in my junk journal but they did have all different colors so i went ahead and grabbed these two here i also saw these really cute hair charms you can definitely use them in your hair you could even turn them into earrings if you have like jewelry or um, the earring hooks, like if you make jewelry, these would be really easy to turn into a pair of earrings. Um, but I thought that these were really cute. Again, I got these for junk journaling. This one is Silver Stars. And these are like gold rings with like rhinestones in the center. I thought that those were really pretty. But these are by the Sparkle Shop. So I thought that those were kind of cool. You can use them for different purposes. I also went ahead and picked up this adorable little like rolling pin de uh, decor. Now it looks like a rolling pin from the little knobs here, but then it's a sign. I just thought that that was pretty clever. I think it's super cute. Hello pumpkin. This would look adorable in your kitchen. Um, I wonder if I should put it, I'm not sure. I'll have to see how my little shelves work back here. I think I've gotten too much and if I have, I'll make sure to spread my stuff out throughout the house. Um, but this will definitely, if it doesn't fit here, I'm gonna put this in my kitchen on my counter because that's absolutely adorable. Could even go like if you have an oven with the back piece, I don't know what it's called, but like where the time is and the knobs, um, it's like a little ledge. You could probably stick this right on the ledge. I think that that would fit perfectly actually. It's not too wide, but really cute. They did have different colors. Again, if you haven't checked out my walkthroughs, make sure you check out the walkthroughs because I share with you guys new items there. Um, all right, another thing I went ahead and picked up is this cool wallet. Let me open it. Now this was literally just down the cosmetic aisle on a shelf and I did not see them anywhere else. This is definitely not a Dollar Tree brand, but it is a Black Panther wallet for boys. It looks really nice. It does have Velcro. I think it's a tri-fold wallet. Yeah, it is. Let me take that out to share it with you guys. So you have your pouch for your money. And then your different slots for different cards um, here. Now that's the cash. Then you have a slot for a card and your slots here for cards. You can even put an ID in one of these if you wanted to. But this is what it looks like. It's really nice. My son has a wallet right now that is, um, who is it? The Imposters, I think, from Roblox. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this and I'll give it to him for Christmas when he starts watching Marvel movies. He's not quite there yet for Marvel movies, but when he is, I, I'm i gonna give this to him for one of the holidays. So I'm gonna hold on to that. But if you guys come across any like items like this that you think that your kids would use in the future and they're good quality, I would definitely pick them up. You cannot beat a dollar 25. This probably goes for like $10 at Walmart or maybe $8 or something like that. So I think that that is a great deal. 
All right, moving on. The next thing I wanted to share are these really nice candles. I don't think that this is a Dollar Tree brand. I had never seen them in my Dollar Trees before. It says Wellness Collection Tranquil. Oh my gosh, tran Tranquil, Tranquil. I can't say that word. It smells so good and I'm gonna open it for you guys. I actually picked up three of them. I think they had only three. They may have had four. Oh, it smells really good. But this is the candle. It has like the, the ridged glass with the nice rim across the top. This is in a really pretty like blush pink color. But this is for tranquility. And then we have this one here and this is for clarity. And this is in the orange color, as you guys can see there. And then we also have this one, and this is healing. And these smell so, so good. So if you guys have them at your store, make sure you guys check them out and smell them. They smell really good. I'm not sure how they burn. I'm not sure how long the burn is, but they smell really good. <laughs> All right, so my son's birthday is coming up. I mentioned that in my last haul, and he's not a cake eater, but he loves brownies. So I went ahead and picked up two of these fudge brownies. My daughter and myself are going to bake these for him, and we're gonna use the little Minecraft um, collector characters that I purchased in my last haul from the Dollar Tree. There were four characters, and five dollars for those you guys and myself and my daughter are going to bake these brownies and stick the little characters on top because he wanted minecraft as his theme so that's what we're doing um another thing that i went ahead and grabbed is this really nice like tabletop decor isn't that so cute it's supposed to be like a pumpkin but it's squared off i don't know and look at this little um what is this called gingham ribbon i think it's so cute i love that they used the black and white i think that that's really nice with this cute little stem but it is hollow in the back like that but i thought that that was really nice and it says autumn harvest blessings so i love that another thing i grabbed is this be thankful little gift box now i use these for um decor and i use them for like my little trash my little trash container when I'm doing my crafting. As you can see, I have my love one back there that I picked up around Valentine's Day, and I actually use that as my little trash bin for crafting. Also, look how cute this is though. They do have different sizes, but I thought this size would be a good one, so I picked up this one. But again, I love the colors, I love the wreath, I love the gold foiling with the writing that says be thankful, so cute. And then I also went ahead and grabbed this in all things give thanks again the color I just I love it you guys and it's like a little mason jar how cute is that and then I also went ahead and picked up three of these like um, maple leaf fall lights and I'm gonna try to string them around my cabinet as well. I just love the lights around the cabinet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna still have these and just kind of add some of these in. I may only add a couple. I usually get them for every season. I will pick up a um, like a holiday LED light string and we will string them up around their desk just to kind of have it a little more festive when we are in the school room and i even like to get them like something to sit on their desk that's kind of festive for that holiday but i just thought that these were pretty cool and you cannot beat the price like i said dollar tree i swear has like the best prices another thing i went ahead and grabbed i thought that these were adorable they are unicorn slap bracelets these were actually in the like um, birthday decor favor aisle, but I thought that these were really cute. It comes with six of them, so two of each design. And I plan on putting these in all of my nieces and my daughter's little junk journal that I do for them. I'll just slip it into one of the pockets, just kind of have it like an interactive fun thing, you know? I don't know I thought that that would be really cute but you can really just use it for favors or you can put it you can if you have multiple daughters or you have 
daughters um, and nieces. You can split them up within stockings. I think that that is a great buy, $1.25 for six of them. You can't beat that price. Another thing I went ahead and grabbed is this dog cooling collar. I just thought, <laughs> I don't know, am I gonna use it? I don't know, is my dog gonna hate it? Maybe, I don't know. But I just saw it and I'm like, okay, that's interesting. But it's literally a collar that has Velcro. And I'm gonna knock these down, I have to be careful because I love those little guys. But inside it has like um, like a cooling pack that you would use in like an ice chest. That's kind of what it feels like to me. But it says that cooling effect without refrigeration. So you don't even have to put this in the refrigerator. It literally just stays cool. I don't know about you, but you don't even have to just get this for a dog. Now hear me out. Maybe your kids are in sports and it's still pretty warm outside. You can always get this and use it to cool around your wrists if you are someone like me that gets like overheated really fast or maybe your kiddo does and they play the sports. But you can lay this on the back of your neck or your kid's neck just to kind of cool them down a little bit. Maybe you're at the beach or lake or something like that and it's hot. I don't know. I mean, you don't necessarily have to use it as a collar and you don't have to put it on a dog, right? That's something I always like trying to do is figuring out what you can use these items for other than what they're actually intended for. All right, another thing I grabbed, this is just something fun. This is a ballpoint pin and it's a mermaid tail. Isn't that so cute? It has different colors but it's just a pin. I thought that was kind of fun, and so I wanted to grab it. It's probably been out for a while, but I just noticed it. Another thing I picked up, this is by Crafters Square. It is the laser cut craft icons, but they are in crosses. Again, I junk journal, so I thought that these would be really pretty as charms. And then down the, what aisle is this? Like the office. Um, office supply aisle I would say I came across these little notepads I just thought that they were really nice I love that they have the gold coil here on the back with the binding um, the designs I want to say are not my favorite but I love how it has this strap here and they are blank inside so they are not lined you can definitely turn this into a journal you can have your kids draw in it I just thought it was kind of cool and then it also has like these little ribbons for your like bookmark that's actually attached to it so I thought that they really I don't know I think they did something cool with this and this is the same thing but it has these as the ribbons so I was thinking for my son and for my daughter down the book aisle, I saw this new Looney Tunes Bugs Life all in a day's work. My son loves Bugs Bunny. He loves Tom and Jerry. Is Tom and Jerry part of Looney Tunes? I don't know. Maybe. But look how cute. So I went ahead and grabbed this book for him. And then the last couple things I'm gonna share with you were down the craft aisle. These are fabrics that I grabbed. These have mushrooms on them, but I just thought that they were really pretty. And um, very, they just give me fall vibes. Fall vibes. <laughs> I said fall vibes. Okay, let me open this up because it doesn't do it justice when it's all rolled up. Isn't that so cute? like autumn leaves and mushrooms. So I thought that that one was really pretty. And this one is kind of similar. How cute is that? They have mushrooms and gnomes. The little gnome is pushing the little wheelbarrow that has like pumpkins and squash and corn. Is there corn? No, flowers. Isn't that so adorable? So I went ahead and grabbed that. Oh, I have one more thing to share. I had to put it off to the side because I have no room here on my table. But I went ahead and picked up three of these paper basket trays. I'm going to either use these in my homeschool room 
in my crafting area or I'm going to use them for my eBay store. So I'm not quite sure yet, but I have these to use and I know I'll use them because I always have stacks of papers somewhere. So I went ahead and grabbed three. I like the black color. These are pretty sturdy and I like the way they look. They're very cute, but that is it you guys. That is it for today's haul. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have been seeing these items in your store and yeah, so that's it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a like. That truly, truly helps my channel if you enjoyed hanging out with me today or if you decided to just hang out on this channel with me today, make sure you hit that like. But that's it, you guys. So be safe, be blessed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.